Hey everybody, this is Coimpact with Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon, and today, presumably, I will end the game. Now, I actually did rebuild that failure of a dump, stupid coaster, coaster mitts on the other side of the park. Also, this research probably gonna be finished by the t like everything gonna be done by the time we actually finish the park. I can almost guarantee it. First of all, let me set up some more flat rides so these people don't get upset. Because this side of the park is lacking when I extended all the way to the other end of the valley already. Now, I did manage to fix that 90 degree coaster, and I'm actually not... I'm not afraid of what I did to get there. Like, it, it's got a really high intense rating, kind of like the Caterpillar ride does, but... It doesn't have the best excitement rating at all, yet people are still riding it, so I don't question it. I'm not questioning it any further than that. But I'll, I'll go and show you it when we get to that part. Right now, let's set up a new gentler ride for the people, even though, you know, that really dis fits the theme of the park. People just want to have fun, you know? People just want to have fun. Whoa. Peeps just want to have fun. They all, like, jump in the air and they freeze frame from <laughs> when they get off the ride. Yeah, they already jump in the air, you know, so it's not like it's impossible for them to do that. They always freeze frame at the end of the ride. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Oh, come on, are you tell me this isn't positioned right? Whatever. I'm not low enough. Why am I not low enough? I can't wait for all those people to buy uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm going to watch them all play it. Why buy the game when you could just watch people play the game, alright? I don't know. I'm looking for how they conclude Kingdom Hearts 3 to see where they end it there. And then be anticipating Kingdom Hearts 4 to make it make more sense. Because 3 is probably not going to make sense. Uh, no one's riding the Gravitron, really. Here it is. I know, it's a cluster of music over here. The Heartbreaker. And it all connected in, and it, and it was really, really difficult. Oh, you, you know, it got a decent rating of 6.17, but it also had a really high rating of 9 in the Extreme Department. I also found out that when, when you're going on sharp turns on this coaster, you can actually make a turn like this. See? They, uh, I believe they call that a cobra roll in real life. I didn't even know you could make cobra rolls in this game. Only on this coaster and, like, one other, though. Not many coasters can have that sharp of upward turning. I'm charging 250 an hour, and people seem to just be eating it up. Also, there's a lot of people with orange balloons all of a sudden. I didn't think our balloon stall would make that many sales. Look at this. Look at all the orange balloons everywhere. So as much as I complained about how hard this park was going to be, it seems like we're winning. In fact, we've won. We have over a thousand guests. I, uh, you know, this is like the first time I hadn't struggled on this park. I always struggled when I was young. In fact, most of the time I never reached this park. I was always playing on someone else's computer who had the parks done, but I'd still enter this one and just feel utterly defeated because I couldn't do anything. But now it looks like we've just had we have it all in the bag. I can put that right there, right? Yeah, I can. So Koo is really proud to see this park work out, and you know, if I build every single ride in this park except all the track rides, then that's probably gonna end up happening. Cause it's only May year three, and we need to go to year four. And that's going to take hours on its own to get to. Well, if I was going to build another track ride, which one should I build? That's a good question. I have a lot of them now because I've been researching all this stuff. Can I can I connect it here? Is that, is that possible? Bam! Yes, it is. It's possible. 
So now the park kind of loops in on itself. You get to this point, you can ride this ride, and it exits you out at the front door. And then you're like, oh, I'm back here again. That reminds me, maybe I should make a path to connect the park better around. I said this would be a lot of looping paths. The trees don't make it very easy, other than if I just build all the paths in the river. I have three coasters. Heartbreaker is awesome. Too bad I can't change the color because the game fears crash again. I don't want to crash it after, e after you know, working so hard to get to this point. Building Heartbreaker was slightly problematic. I will admit that, you know, if I had a little more knowledge on vertical downward drop coasters, then, you know, I would have known not to make the vertical drop at the beginning so steep. I want this one. I'm also going to put out an advertising campaign to keep our guests up high. Because we have the money for it. There's nothing much more I could spend on. There are only a few more rides I can build before I run out of rides to build. So let's put in an ice cream stall. I'm pretty sure people would like some ice cream. Can I put it here? Is that... That's, that's not lined up. That That's not right. It's not the right height. I can't do it. Oh yeah, we didn't need to move the fry stall all the way back then. Well, damn. Let's just put it over here. And voila. There you go. This park, this park is pretty much fully built. Not much more left to do here. In fact, that, that means the game is done for us. Other than, you know, extra videos, which I'll get to eventually. I'm not, like, in the mood to really jump right into them, because I've been doing a lot of these Roller Coaster Tycoon videos for you lately, if you haven't noticed. We got an award! Safest park on the in the country. There you go. It means we have a lot of mechanics. In the end, that's all it means. Best toilets is one of the best reward one of the best rewards I've ever gotten. And in fact, in later games, rewards give you money instead of just being rewards. And there are negative rewards, like worse value and stuff, that, that make you lose money. It's the best thing ever, you know? Take my money away, even though I'm struggling with money. Hoo hoo hoo. I'm looking at you, the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 Time Twist It. Time Twister! See, the Around the World expansion was f okay, but it's like Time Twister just made everything, everything so hard. Although 2 had a lot more sandbox element in it, and I like that. Where it wasn't mostly obligating you to play uh, the, the scenario parts to unlock the sandbox. It was more about beat the scenarios if you can, play the sandbox. It's, pr it's pretty much going to be the better aspect of life here. So now I'm going to try to make a shortcut to go all the way to this side of the park from the other side. It doesn't seem like people are having a hard time getting to uh, Heartbreaker, so I won't make a path out that way. It doesn't look like it, it's necessary at all. Some parts of me will miss having this game on hiatus. Other parts of me will be completely elated that we beat the game. I won! There are trees everywhere! Oh, you. I saved you. How about that kiss now? Oh, Link. So I don't have a Philips CDI, and I really don't know how to emulate one, so... Can't really do CDI games. Or else I would. You know what would be the best Let's Play? The Flowers of Rob or the Robert Maplethorpe. Robble, 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 Maplethorpe. Oh God, that would be a, oh, that would be a really intense let's play. That would be kicking old school style. I want to think about it. I want to think about it until it's done, and then I'm already there, and I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, fuck, what am I doing here, man? Why am I doing this again? No, it can't be. I'm dead. You know, I'd be obliterated by a sunbeam at that point. Spontaneous combu uh, combustion is a 100% possible thing to happen to a person, especially when they're getting caused mass indigestion. Wow. Everyone's so happy in this park. 
I think we done good. I think we done good. Right, viewers? Right, viewers. Yeah, fist bump. Most of you probably were shaking your head in shame there instead of actually fist bumping me. But fine. Be that way. No one ever wanted your opinion anyways. You all say it so much. I'm pretty sure other people get mad at other people's opinions, and that's when everything hits the fan. When two opinions clash at each other, and I have nothing to do with it. You know, it's th those are those kind of times when you gotta sit down, boot up your DOS box, type in some command lines, start up the incredible machine, and finish a bunch of puzzles. Because, you know, our good friend Professor Layton always says, this reminds me of a puzzle. And, you know, the inverting swing ship here does quite remind me of a puzzle. It's called, how the fuck do I get its line through all these trees? There sure are a lot of trees here. Oh, look, a wrapper from my favorite Freezy Freeze. I sure love Freezy Freezes. And look, a wrapper from my favorite Bubblegum. I sure love Bubblegum. Son of a bitch. This this is gonna work. This is not gonna work. This this will work. Wow, everyone gets to walk through the woods and, and be with nature in this park. Feel the nature. Feel the love. Huh, I wonder how the statistics of this park are actually going to go. It doesn't look like I have a really good park value, though, because rides make the value go down the older they are. Huh. Maybe I'll be able to fix that in the upcoming year. I'm going to attempt to. Huh, you know what? I don't want to make this another video because it's been like a video year and we still have a year left. I'm not going to wait to make a year four video. You know what? We're finishing the game right now. Coos treat. It's ogre, people. It's ogre. So I'm going to see you in a few minutes when we win the park. Well, this is a thing. I don't know how to describe it other than a, a monstrosity I made. But, but it's a thing, all right. I mean, I tuned you in here last minute, so I don't really get to talk about it much, much. but that's Clash and Dash. I know I put that back thing up there because I used to have it to be a reverse free, uh, free fall coaster kind of thing going on, and that didn't work. I like it better as a launch coaster, but it's like a more extreme version of our shuttle loop over there, but the people seem to love it. I don't know how to describe it, man. I also tried tuning you in a little earlier before the park ending here, but uh, I messed that up because I didn't mute the audio of background programs, and a lot of shit went and happened. And I was just like, uh, whatever, I'll, I'll try again. We did research every ride, though. There's nothing left to research for the past couple of months. I've been pumping $400 into nothing. Yes! The game's over, man. It's over. Let's put our name in and be marveled at how good we were, I guess. Be proud of what we've done. There's a lot of orange balloons floating into the sunset. 99 red balloons floating in the summer sky. Oh, it's loading. I guess that's got to load up Mega Park. So this has been Coo Impact with Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Uh, eventually in the future, I'll, in the future, we will have Mega Park done. Can't guarantee it to be very soon, but we're we're gonna have it done eventually. There, complete it. All original scenarios. Let's Play's over, everybody. It was a fun run. I love this game so much, and there's Mega Park for us. Just for fun. So the next time you see me, we're going to be doing some Mega Park extras and all kinds of bullshit. And these, all these other things, possibly, maybe, sometime in the far future. As for now, this is your host, Koo Impact, signing off. And wishing you guys a very, very happy end of the summer. Because summer is coming to a close soon. And what better way to end the summer than with an all-night rave at your favorite theme park. Oh, grapevine, you're my favorite. <laughs>